Good morning, you guys. This is Ida. We're back with uh, group three of the gift tag holder, uh, gift card holder slash tag swap. And uh, starting us off this morning, I want to say good morning to all your, you ladies. Thank you for joining the swap. Thank you for participating. And thank you for including me in this swap. As you know, as a crafter, when you host a swap, I, can, I know how Miss Tamika feels. Um, we don't get to play. And we like to play. We, you know, this, this is what we do. So when you guys, everyone in this group created one for me and I really appreciate it because I feel like I'm included in the swap. So I want to thank you so much for joining. Starting us off this morning is you see why I'm a diva, Miss Lisa O'Neill. Thank you so much for playing Miss Lisa. So she actually, I'm going to show you her packages and uh, she personalized everybody's tag with everybody's name. This one's Nisha who's uh, inspiring beautiful creations. And then in the in this beautiful die cut, she made it into a tag. And on the back is all her information. So it's You See Why I'm a Diva, Lisa O'Neill. And then she's got the, the gift holder slash tag swap, uh, May 2018. So um, she did make one for me and she personalized everybody's bag. But I want to show you, she did this beautiful die cut and personalized it. And she's got them in these uh, craft colored bags. And she did go ahead and, and alter the bag. She decorated the bag with designer paper. And she's got some um, pleated trim up here on top. And then she's got this beautiful, looks like a vintage flower up here. And I believe that she altered this. Uh, and then she's got some, uh, um, one of those skeleton leaves. Look at how pretty is that. I've been looking for these. Uh, it's so pretty. I love it. So I'm going to show you the back. In the back, she left, she cre She made the, the little flap that's on the bottom of the bags. She actually made it into a pocket, a shallow pocket. And she included some goodies in the back. And then she papered it right here with a designer paper. So she did a great job in altering her bag. And Miss Lisa made one for me, so I want to share it with you guys. Let me make sure I don't open the wrong one. <laughs> This is the one that Miss Lisa created for me, and I really appreciated Miss Lisa. Thank you very much. So, like I said, you guys, she did alter this paper bag, and it's the craft color. It's got this, uh, like a, it's like a paper twisted handle, and she made a beautiful die cut up here in a craft color as well as her bag to match her bag with all her information up here. You see why I'm a diva. And uh, her name's Lisa O'Neill. And then, you know, she posted the information of the swap. And up here, like I said, she did use a designer paper, pattern paper. And she put a pleated trim right here with these beautiful altered flowers that she... I believe she made these. And the flowers are all a little bit different. But I think she altered all these flowers. And this is the one she created for me. So here's that shallow pocket again in the back with the designer paper on here. And let's see what she sent. Miss Lisa gifted everyone these beautiful, um, you know, guys, I want to try and pull this towards me instead of in front of the camera. <laughs> these beautiful wood veneers, and they're actually colored. I've seen them. I always see them like in the natural wood color. I've never seen them already colored like this. So these are beautiful, and I'm always buying a word wood veneers because I like to emboss them and everything but on these you guys you wouldn't have to do anything because they're already in different colors so these these are beautiful one says brilliant bless grateful and smile now I don't know if the other one says something different because I didn't go through anybody's bags but this is what this one says so I'm going to move that aside and then she sent us these beautiful flowers by Jolie's Boutique who, who and um they're orange and maybe with a red orange color and they have another little orange in this flower in the center with a little bling so she included a package of these and they're puffy you guys they're not flat they're puffy flowers so thank you miss Lisa for this gift I will des definitely put your uh, gifts to good use so let's get into this bag you guys because I have been anxiously awaiting to get into these bags they've been sitting here and teasing me Every time I come in my craft room, I'm just so tempted to peek. But I've been good. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out that Miss Lisa created. Make sure. 
sure I got everything. Yes. So I'm going to set the bag aside with the goodies because I want to make room for her uh, swap so you guys can see. Uh, Miss Lisa wrote me a personal message, a little note. So I'm going to read that real quick, you guys. Uh, she was worried about her swap being late. and uh, But it wasn't. It was here before some of the other packages. You're good, Miss Lisa. And uh, even if you were late because of whatever emergency, you know, I would wait. I'm willing to wait. So let's let's start off with, I'm going to start off with this one because this one is already noticeable out of the package. So she made this beautiful envelope and it's like a silver, not really a metallic silver. It's more like a matte pearlized silver. And she's got this beautiful layered butterfly on top. It's two layers on this butterfly, guys. One of them she cut out with the paper that she made the envelope with. And then the other one is one of those, um, they have a textured on them. I think these are kind of stickers and they have the bling center. It's a beautiful, beautiful envelope, you guys. I hope that the camera picks up the color because it is pearlized. It's so pretty. And I let's see how this opens up. I don't want to mess anything up. Okay, you guys, I want to I don't want to ruin it. Okay, I think she closed it with a repositional uh, glue dot right here. And then, oh my goodness, look at this beautiful. Let me close that back up. Look at this beautiful gatefold card that she made, you guys. It's so pretty. She's got another, another beautiful butterfly in the front with all these teeny tiny pearls. I hope that was a sticker because I don't know if you did these individually. Oh, my goodness. And then she's got it closed with this organza sheer uh, cream colored or a champagne colored ribbon. And she's got this beautiful, uh, the back is made of the same pearlized paper as the envelope. But then she's got an overlay on it. It's so pretty, you guys, with all these leaves and flowers and pearls in the center. Mm -hmm. It is so pretty, Miss Lisa. So pretty. And let me see. Um, I don't want to mess anything up, you guys. I think these are the one set. Nope. Okay, I'm going to have to untie her beautiful bow. And I didn't want to because it looks so pretty. But I do want to show her work. So let me untie this, you guys, so we can look at the inside. Because, you know, Miss Lisa went to a lot of trouble. And um, I want to make sure I show everybody's work. And I don't want to mess it up. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get that bow back as beautiful, as pretty and perfect as you did, Miss Lisa. Because like I said, you did do an amazing job on it. So here's the inside, you guys. And uh, this comes off. Look at this, you guys. She's got the two, the two in the front over here. And she also layered the panels here on the side. So this is a pretty good weight sturdy card. And then on the inside, she inserted the little uh, card hold, the gift card holder. that, um, And it's got the little tabs already, you guys. And you just insert your gift card right there. And then you put it into your uh, your packaging and you close it up with the butterfly on top. It's so beautiful, you guys. Those of you who are in this swap, when you get it home, it is just absolutely beautiful. You did an awesome job, Miss Lisa. I love it. So this is her first card, and I'm just gonna set it here, you guys, hopefully in frame where you can continue to look at it, because it is beautiful. Now, I took a peek at this one, so I'm gonna save it for the end. It's, it's stunning. So this one, she made an envelope, and I believe she made this herself. It's so pretty. It's very uh, heavyweight paper, and she's got it wrapped with some very thin satin ribbon. And it, this one just has a bow to untie. So pretty. Very elegant. And this one has a Velcro closure on here, those invisible dots. The one on top here, you guys, you can't even hardly see it. It's because it's one of those clear, um, 
I just said the word. And I kept Velcro. Velcro dots. And I use these. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's cute. Guys, look at that. How super cute is that? And you know we have Father's Day coming up. This is going to be perfect, you guys, mm -hmm. for that. Wow, Miss Lisa, this is absolutely beautiful. It is super cute, and I believe it is a gift card holder. So let me show it to you. She's got this, she put a pattern paper on the back. Now, I'm not going to lift this up because I think this slides out and I don't want to ruin it. But she's got this little vest here, and it's got the little teeny tiny pockets. Look at the little pockets. And then she's got teeny tiny buttons right here. And she's got a bow tie up here. <laughs> so pretty with this. Uh, and this topper up here looks like um, at, as if whoever was wearing this shirt had best had on a navy shirt underneath. It's so pretty. There's the back. It's got the to and from on the back. <laughs> That's so pretty. Now I'm going to slide this out because I believe that it does. Yes, it does. It slides out, you guys. And um, and it's got the for the card holder in here, so I believe you just slide your card in, you guys, and then it's got the little tab right here on the bottom. There's the little tab on the bottom for you, so it holds your card in there, nice and snug. It's not gonna fall out. How super cute is that, you guys? And then you would just, um, sorry, you would just put it inside the. I dropped that like it was a hot potato, right? <laughs> you slide it back into the into the little uh, bottom portion of the card holder. And look at how super cute that is, you guys. And then again, here's that pattern paper. And you know what it looks like? It looks like a bunch of little pockets. That's what it looks like. So pretty. You did an amazing job, Miss Lisa. This is just absolutely beautiful. I love it. And I'm sure one of my kids is going to say, uh, don't you have a card, Mom, that I can have for Father's Day? So, but I don't know if I'm going to want to give this up. I really don't know. So there's her card. And you are, when you get it, guys, you know, because it's one that goes one into the other, you you know, you just kind of wiggle it a little bit. But it closes perfectly, you guys. So you did an amazing job, Miss Lisa. Thank you so much for gifting me these because you didn't have to and you did. And I really appreciate that. So there's her second one. And I have my trusty card right here. So this is her third one, you guys. And what she did, and I think this is a great idea because I've thought about doing this. She embossed a craft colored paper and it feels kind of like a, a glossing, but different. It's not exactly a glossing bag, but it is craft colored. And she did put it through an embossing folder so you can see the texturing on it where she embossed it. And then she's got a doily up here. Now I did open this one up. The other ones are packaged a little bit different, but I think the purpose of this one, the way she packaged this one, is to show everybody how to package it whenever you put it away. I mean, whenever you're gonna gift it to somebody. So she's got a beautiful paper tassel that she made right here, you guys. So pretty in a cream and gold. And then she added a little, it uh, looks like a metallic, and I don't know if you can see that really well, but she's got a metallic lace trim right there, very dainty. And then she's got it on this gold metallic cording, and it's held on by this clip. And then her to and from is right here on the little tag. Let me see if I can turn it around for you guys. Her to and from is right here on the tag. How beautiful is that? And this looks, again, like that pretty shimmery paper that's over there. And then on the top, it's got this craft color doily with a gold foiling on it. And there's the back, you guys. So that's how you would, whenever you're going to gift it, this is how you would do it. She included the bag and everything for everybody. So let's see what's inside. I already know what's inside, so I know it's beautiful. Put this back up here. Look at this beautiful, beautiful oh, that's purse that she made. How pretty is this, mm -hmm. you guys? You know, if somebody gifted me a gift card in something like this, 
I wouldn't throw it away. I would. I don't throw away my cards anyway. You know, I have um, those clips, paper, uh, clips that you hang on a wall like a garland, and they're they're clothespins, the clear ones, and that's where I hang my things. That's where some of these are gonna go because these are beautiful. You ladies did an amazing job. Not just not just group three, but from what I've seen so far, group one, two, and three, because I've, like I said, I've been good, have done a great job. So this is what she created. This is also a gift card holder, and it's got, it's in the ivory color with the gold foiling on it. And here's the back, you guys. Now in the front, she added a bow, a, a foiled gold, colored bowl and then she's got these little rolled roses on here and she's got these other flowers and then she's got her main focal point right here which is which is a beautiful altered flower and everything is in the creams and the, the light browns and gold it is super pretty you guys and then she's got this little pearl trim up here I hope you guys can see it. And I'm going to move down a little bit so you can see the handle and everything. How pretty is that, you guys? Thank you, Miss Lisa, so much for playing. You did an amazing job. And I definitely will. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give these away. I'm going to be quite honest with you because they are super pretty. And, you know, I like to hold on uh, with for things, too, for inspiration, you know, because... Um, you know, my mind doesn't think the way your mind thinks, and this is amazing. And like I said, you guys, this is a gift card holder. So it does have, again, a Velcro dot back here, a tiny, tiny Velcro dot right here. And um, and there's for your, you put your card in here. Now, I thought this was a pocket, and it's not, but you can't, when you put your card in here and you close it up, because of the Velcro, it closes nice and secure, your card is not going to fall out of there. So this is an amazing gift card holder for any young lady your mother your grandmother any special lady in your life amazing you did an amazing job thank you so much miss lisa for playing and um you guys check out her channel see if she's i don't know if she has a a video because i looked for a lot of the ladies and very few had videos up but maybe she'll do a video and show us how she created this Thank you, Miss Lisa. I appreciate it. Next up, you guys, is Katie, who is Scrap for Your Life here on YouTube. And again, like, I, like um, I said before, all of the ladies' YouTube channels will be in the description box. So make sure you hop on over and support them. This is what Miss uh, Katie made. And uh, she wrapped everything in this beautiful pink light pink tissue paper and then she's got this transparent washi tape but where it's either transparent or a very light pink with the darker pink polka dots on it and, and she personalized all of them so they all have um names on them and then this even says this side up so this is the way she packaged everything and these are the two that this one's uh niches and this one is miss lisa so Katie made one for me, so I'm going to share with you what Katie made. And I did actually take a peek into it to make sure everything was okay. Because a lot of times when we ship something, you guys, and, and because of the transportation and the way it's tossed back and forth, you know, something might come undone. And I wanted to make sure that everything was in order. Because when I show your work, I want to make sure that everything is in order, you guys. And um, sometimes I can get into them and sometimes I can't. But I'll try to make sure that I do that. Now, Miss um, Katie gifted me with these beautiful um lacy frames how pretty are these guys they are super pretty i love doilies i love any lacy frame and frames period so thank you so much i don't have anything like this so i'm definitely going to enjoy this so let's open this up see what miss katie created for everybody and again she has um, my name here, and then she's, you know, like a thank you little note for hosting the swap. Okay, let's see what she created. And like I said, I did open the top, but I really didn't get into the packages. because I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty this is, you guys. Look how she wrapped this, you guys. It's so pretty. 
she's got everything is in individual the clear bags and then she bundled everything together and wrapped it up in this pretty she actually has a couple of ribbons here she's got this um pink tool but it's a different kind of pink it's um i don't it's kind of hard to describe you guys i don't know how it's coming through in the camera but it's almost like a like matte a candy pink. yes maybe it's like it looks kind of matte it's so pretty you guys so super pretty and then she's got everybody's name see there's my name on this beautiful tag i mean she really went the extra mile to do work on this tag and, and emboss everybody's name she did an amazing job so pretty so pretty so let's open this up so i can show give you a better look of what's underneath here because you know i am going to reuse this just bear with me a little bit I think I can get it undone pretty quick. So she, here's the little tool that she has it wrapped in. And uh, she had another lace that was peeking underneath. And it also is wrapped around all the packages. So I'm going to take it off. It's beautiful. This lace is super pretty. Let me see if I can just slide it off. Oh, it's taped on. Yeah. There it is. It's really pretty and it coordinates well with the other trim that she put on there. So you'll be able to combi combine those two on a tag or a card. So anyway, here is uh, what she used to put our names on, on the packaging. She actually made one of those wands with the straws. This pretty straw that has like curly cues and little polka dots on it. And she's got all her information on the back of the tag. And I'll turn it around in a second so you guys can see. But see the pretty pinwheel she did? And she stickled all of that, you guys. It's all shimmery. And then she's got a little flower applique here with a little bling. <clears throat> excuse me. With a little bling in the center. And then in the back, when I flip it over, here's all her information. It says, gift card swap hosted by Ida at create created to create. And then you may... 2018 and this is designed by Katie and her YouTube channel is scrap for your life and her Instagram is the same and then she's got her bis her uh, business name is creative inspirations by Katie and she did the front and the back of this tag you guys she did a lot of work just on her tag thank you so much Miss Katie so here's the one that she used so everybody can add that to their collections so <clears throat> so let's see I'm gonna let me sort this out a little bit you guys so I believe this is a hostess gift or goodies I'm not sure if everyone has this because I didn't open it I would think so but um let's see let's see what's in here so she's got it in this beautiful butterfly, and this feels, um, almost feels like a glossing type, but thicker. But the, te the, the feel of it, it feels like a glossing bag, but it's, you know, it's a bag that was already made. It's pretty, maybe for like a bakery or something like that. That's what it feels like, and she's got these beautiful butterflies on this bag. It's super pretty, you guys, and you can actually use this and alter it on another project. You know, a lot of people don't like the crinkling, but I do. I love the crinkling. So let's set this aside. <clears throat> and she has a little card for me here. And I'm going to take a quick second to read that. Just a quick second, you guys. Look at how pretty that is with the little flower closure. How pretty is that? Oh, my goodness. So that's got her postage in it. But I want to show you her card, you guys. I love it. I love it when you guys send me a handmade card uh, and even when I'm in swaps and just your handmade creations to me are so special. And she's got this altered flower up here, so pretty, added to the flower bouquet that's already printed back here just to give it that 3D look. It's so pretty. So let me read it real quick, you guys. Oh, thank you.
Thank you so much for your kind words, Miss Katie. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope I can always inspire you. And um, I, I'm just so thankful that you actually take the time to watch my videos. So I want to show you the goodies that Miss Katie sent us. She gave us some gems. And these are by the Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby, you guys. These are beautiful. They're in the pink and the black. And uh, in a combination of pink, white, black, and clear. And they've got polka dots all in them. And they're in a variety of sizes. So you have smaller ones and bigger ones. Very nice. Thank you, Miss Katie. I will definitely use that. And then she sent us, you guys, a little package of tags. And um, remember I was... And I keep repeating it, and, and I'm probably always going to repeat it because I think it, it's so clever. It is just so clever what um, Sabrina said about putting the extra tags on your original tag. That way you um, can keep the tag and reuse it. So these are great. These are perfect for that. She sent us a variety of tags, again, in different sizes. And then in here, she sent a little notebook that says, hello. And I saw somebody just share these. I think these are from Joann's, but I could be wrong, you guys. Don't hold me to it. I don't know where everything comes from. I do shop quite a bit, but um, I haven't seen these. But I did see somebody haul something similar to this. So she um, gifted everyone a little notebook with the lemons. And it just says, hello. It's so pretty with the green leaves and everything. It's beautiful. I love it. And then it's got the lined paper inside. You know, I wouldn't do anything to this. I, I would leave it as is and slide it in, in my journal because I do have a leather journal, I mean, travel journal, journal that I made, and this is the size. So this would fit perfect in mine. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So I'm going to move this aside, and we're going to get to her first tag because when I took a peek in there I couldn't stand it I just wanted to get into these packages let me move it down so you guys can see um, can see the whole thing she's got it in the clear bag and this looks like a pretty thick uh, sleeve you guys like maybe a photo type of sleeve it re feels very very thick and then she's got a topper up here with the diamond pattern and then she's got another little strip right here and then she's got this bow in that beautiful ribbon that she wrapped all the packages in and her thing must be lemons because she's got another lemon right here you guys with the leaf and a little flower with a bling in the center how pretty is that but look at this beautiful offering she has in here so I'm gonna take this out and she does have the envelope for it. What you can see back here is not just the paper backing for the for the package it's the envelope for the um, for the gift card for the card and I don't want to tear it let me see if I can get it off without too much damage oh yeah let's see if I can get this out because I like to reuse things. I, I, I'm i not going to reuse this right away because I would actually put it back in here to protect your card while until I go to use it. Look at this beautiful card, you guys. How beautiful is that? When life gives you lemons, that's what it says. How beautiful. And she stickled all the lemons, you guys. Let me move this down. She's Actually, let me move it over here, and then I'll show that to you. She stickled all the lemons around the lemons. She's got this beautiful textured uh, paper in this. Uh, it's between a coral and a pink, maybe a cotton candy color. It is so pretty, you guys. And then she's got this lemon up on dimensional, so it's not sitting right on top of the paper. It does have dimension. And then she's got these little teeny tiny flowers, which she probably cut out because they they match this paper, this trim she's got here. And this is also stickled, this pink, solid pink with the poke polka dots and even though the paper has patterns she's got flowers on top of that with bling and then she's got this pattern paper with dots it's not too much you guys it looks amazing and then she created this little bow up here and then here are all the lemons on top you guys 
Let me see if I can give you a good view of those lemons. And they're all shimmery and stickled. So I don't know if it's good. I think she stickled them because it doesn't look like they came that way. But they look beautiful. She did an amazing job. So here's the back to the card. She even finished the back for us, guys. And she's got those here, the beautiful flowers again with the bling center. And here's another lemon. And she stamped her to and from on there. That's a pretty color in the ink pad. So everything coordinates so nicely. So here it is, guys. You open it up. Let me move it down. And she's got some chocolates up here that have been stickled. And then she's got this beautiful die cut. And it, and then she's got, um, again, she stickled it. She must have some kind of stamp. And uh, either she cut it with her machine or she's got a stamp and a die that cuts the tag, stamps the tag, and then cuts it out. But it says, throw them back and go buy some chocolate. So it says, when life gives you lemons, throw them back and go buy chocolate. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Although I do like lemonade. So here it is, guys. This is a gift card holder. And let me go ahead and put this card in here while I'm showing you her card. And then she's got these beautiful flowers again on the inside. And even on this little chocolate. Uh, with the, it's got little chocolate candies printed on there and her pocket is not straight you guys it is actually curved and she's stickled the edge on there as well and she's got these beautiful little flowers with bling centers as well and then she's got some more little chocolates right here and they're all stickled up you guys you did an amazing job this this is a really really nice you did an amazing job how pretty is that and then she included the envelope and here's the envelope and it matches perfectly perfectly with um with the card and it's got the lemons up here you guys look at that and they're all stickled up as well and of course the card would just slide in here there you go and it would close up with the lemons. This is beautiful, Miss Katie. You did an amazing job. I absolutely love it. I love your co your color combination. It's beautiful. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can put it right here. Make room for your beautiful card so everybody can continue to see it up there. So let's move on to her next one. And here's her next one, you guys. Well, you know what? Maybe not because it's going to... I don't want it to steal the show for your next one this is her next card you guys look at this I love this card it is super pretty Miss Katie I wouldn't have even thought to create anything like this That's pretty. seriously you did a beautiful job this looks like it's some type of bucket and she's got a topper up here and again she's got another one of her little applique flowers with a little bling on the center and this must be the envelope for her um, card and here's the back, you guys. Look at the pretty envelope also with the applique flower on the back. So let's see what this looks like. Now, if I forget anything, you guys, let me know. Send me a message. And then on my next video, I will make sure to mention that or correct my error. So here is her card that she created, you guys. How pretty is that? Mm -hmm. She's got some beautiful, it kind of looks um, not country, uh, but it's got a floral pattern and the yellow, very springy. It's so pretty. And then she's got this wood grain going across the top and the bottom of the bucket. And then she's got pretty bling. And then she stickled the edges on top of that. This is super pretty, you bad. guys. Oh. And up here on the little sentiment, she has she actually has it popped up on dimensions. <laughs> I want to laugh, you guys. My daughter can't stand it. She wants to stick her hands in here and and, and feel and touch and everything. She's a touchy feely kind of person, and so am I. So it says a bucket full of sunshine to brighten your day, and it's all stickled, you guys. This little die cut is popped up on dimensions. It's all stickled, and her little flower arrangement here is all stickled as well. So it's super pretty. And then the top right here has all these little beautiful pink and yellow appliques. And then they have a little, some of them have a little yellow flower on top with a bling. And, and the yellow ones have the pink bling on it. So pretty. And mm -hmm. then she's got this trim up here for the handle that mimics the handle of the bucket. So super pretty. Let me see. Oh, 
Look at that, you guys. Mm -hmm. How pretty is this? And again, this is also a card holder. So right here, you could write your sentiment. And in the bucket, imagine this with a little bit of tissue paper in there. And you can stick your card in there, guys. I've never seen anything like this. You did an amazing job, Miss Katie. Truly, you did. And uh, she's got everything all stickled. The, the border on this uh, die cut, This um, it looks like kind of like a top note. But I think top notes are more square, but that's the shape that it has. And she stickled all the all around the edge, and all her little flower arrangement right here is also stickled. Now I don't know if that is a sticker because it feels dement it feels like it's another layer. So I don't know if it's a sticker or if or how she did that, but it's beautiful. And then on this side, you guys, here's the handle again. Look at how pretty that trim is for the rope handle on the bucket that's the prettiest handle I've seen <laughs> and then she's got her little bucket right here to hold your card and again she's got another beautiful like I don't know if this was printed or not and maybe after she stickled it it feels like it's got dimension or more than one layer but it's beautiful it's simply beautiful you guys and then here's the back to it there's the to and from on this again this little die cut with the flower she did a lot of work you did a lot of work on this Miss Katie and here's that wood grain coming across in the top and bottom as borders. And here's that printed that's on the on the front with the yellow and the pink and looks kind of distressed. So pretty. And then she she included the envelope because I asked the ladies to please include an envelope. That way you're not scrounging around for an envelope or trying to make one that matches with what somebody else created. So she did include the envelope. It's so pretty. It's a very pale pink with uh, even paler uh, little flowers on it. And then uh, she's got a little applique on the closure here. So I think she made this envelope because it's, it's really sturdy and it's double-sided paper, you guys. And then, of course, your card would just slide right in. And you, of course, be careful when you slide your card in so you, so you don't damage it. But it does fit in there. I don't want to damage it. It's dimensional, but it will still fit in there, you guys, and you can still close it up. So there it is closed up. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it out because I don't want I don't want it to smash anything in there while I'm storing it. And like I said, I don't even know if I'm gonna give any of these away, you guys, because they're absolutely stunning. Thank you for playing, Miss Katie. Thank thank you for creating one for me. I absolutely love this little bucket that you created. You did an amazing job on these cards. Now she's got one more, you guys. So let me show that. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Just look at this. How awesome is this? Miss Katie, you did a lot of work. You Seriously, you did. It takes me a long time to make shakers. So she's got the backing in here, and I don't think that that's an envelope. I think, it, okay, it's a bag. It's like one of those bags that she included the goodies in. So you can put this, because this is kind of tall, so you can put it in the bag like that. And I think it's a good idea to, sometimes when your, ba your cards are really dimensional, to put them in a pretty decorative bag. So I'm going to open this up. And she's got, again, this pretty ribbon up here as a closure with the double-sided tape. Oh, I don't want to tear it. So let's take it out. This is super pretty. I'm going to set this aside for now. Look at her card, you guys. Mm -hmm. Look at her beautiful card. And it's a mason jar. And it's, got, it's white and striped in pink. And then she's got lemons. Slices <laughs> of, like slices of lemon. Like the whole round and the half like wedges, and it says, life is sweeter with friends like you. How pretty is this card? And then it's got shaker elements in there. It's got little umbrellas, little swirlies, flowers. There you go. See the little flowers? It's super pretty in the coppery color and pinks, and, and it looks like it's got, uh, is it a key or a music note? I'm not sure. 
I don't know what it is, you guys, but it's got some kind of shape in it. Is it a flamingo, maybe? Yep, it's a flamingo, you guys. It's got a flamingo sequence and just regular pink sequence. It's so pretty. And you can see the straw. Look, you guys, you can see the straw inside the jar. I was trying to do this with one of my spoons. And because the way the spoon curves, I couldn't do it. I would have to make it super thick the way she did here. But you know what? It works. It looks awesome. So she's got a, a grow grain bow up here with a little bling in the center. And then she's got this little um, scallop circle right here. And she's got, again, another slice of lemon. And she puts stickles to kind of make the wedges around the, the lemon. And she's got little dots of uh, stickles around the whole border of the of the scallop circle and then here's the straw sticking out and you can see it right through here now I can see that when she put it in through here she kind of flattened it so your sequence wouldn't come out but she did an amazing job and this is super thick you guys let me give you a side profile of it look at the side profile of that it's super pretty and this again you guys is a gift card holder she's got a little pocket back here that has the to and from on a scalloped oval and then here's her pocket in the pink and white stripe and then she's got like an ombre effect uh, paper in the back it's so pretty it goes from like a coral all the way down to a deep yellow it's so pretty and then she's got um, this little template or actually you know what it's not even a template you can write on here your little message and then um, where's my card here's my card you can put this card right in here you guys and and it's snug and like I said that's the way I want them to fit because you don't have to worry about because in a sense this is money you guys you're putting money inside your cards so you do want it to be secure in there so you did an amazing job, Miss Katie. It is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to show you the envelope. She did include a bag for this. So here's the bag, you guys. And she glued down the flap to the bag. And she put her little card here that says the to and the from. And then she's got another applique flower right there. And there's butterflies all over the, the bag. And it matches perfectly. It's a perfect match, you guys, with the card that she made. And then it does have a bag topper up here. And she added already the double-sided sticky tape, you guys, for you. All you have to do is peel that off and seal your bag. And I'm going to show you that it does fit in here perfect. And the reason it's long is because of the straw. And she wanted to make sure that you had enough room, uh, you know, without damaging the straw. So I'm going to slide it all the way in here. And then you would just close it up right here, you guys. And you would pull off the sticky from the back of the flap right there and just close it up. How pretty is that? And your twin from up here, you guys. Thank you so much for playing, Miss Katie. You did an amazing job. Your cards are truly beautiful, as so are the other ladies. Everyone did an amazing job. Thank you so much. And um, like I said, I'm going to post the links below, you guys. So if you're not subscribed to them, or and this is a great way to find other crafters that maybe have the same taste that you like or that you want to learn to create something. that If you want to come out of that shell and learn to create something a little bit different, I always try to, uh, you know, watch people and maybe get ideas so I don't, I'm not stuck in that same rut always creating the same thing these ladies all inspired me next up you guys we have um nisha white who is inspiring beautiful creations here on youtube and uh i want to thank you nisha for playing um and I've gotten to know Nisha a little bit better on a personal level. And she's an amazing woman. I just want to thank you for playing Miss Nisha. And Nisha created one for me. This is what her packaging looks like, you guys. And everybody's bag is personalized. And right here she made, actually, it's like a layered tag right here. And then she's got the little extra tag with everybody's name on it. So this one belongs to... Uh, Lisa, who is UC Why I'm a Diva here on YouTube, and then she's got the swap information on this tag, and then hosted by Created to Create. And then um, you can actually take these off, you guys, and reuse them. They're a very sturdy tag, and she used like a pierced tag die, and she also, the oval has the stitching around it as well. So she made one for me, and let's 
let's uh, see what Nisha created, you guys. Let me make sure I pick the right one and I don't open somebody else's swap. So Nisha did include a card for me and I already read it. You know, she was just thanking me for the swap and everything. And actually, I'm the one that should be thanking you guys because, you know, you guys didn't have to join and you did. And not only did you do that, you created something for me as well. So I really appreciate that. So let's see what Nisha created. Nisha has everything in the white bag, in a clear bag, and then inside everything is individually packaged in a clear bag. And again, here are her tags that she created. And she printed these out, and the little butterfly is cut out from with a die or a punch. And it's uh, glittered, but the writing on here that she printed out matches perfectly with the color of the butterfly that she did. So I'm definitely going to reuse these, Nisha. And then she's got a bag topper up here that coordinates well with the tags, the green that's going on in the tags. And I might have to open this from the top. And I could usually try and save the bags, but I don't think I will we'll be able to on this one, you guys. Let me see if we can open it without causing too much damage that, there it is and she's got a staple closed here you guys so nothing will come out yeah you can't reuse that bag so I'm going to go ahead and take everything out you guys and show you what Nisha created and she did include some goodies for everyone and I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to show you her goodies. She included one of these sticker packs and they're very pretty. It looks like she repackaged them, did a topper here on top, and then she stamped on there or printed out goodies for you in that same green color and she used that oval stitch die and look at how pretty these spring uh, dimensional stickers are so they're kind of flat but then they have dimension on them as well look at that beautiful little birdhouse right there that's absolutely stunning and here's another one over here thank you miss nisha i love these and then in the back you guys we we all know what this is right let me see if i can get it out well, it's that double-sided, that red line tape. So she gifted everybody some stickers and a tape. And we can always use tape and stickers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then let's see what Nisha created. Here's her first. Uh, I don't know if it's a tag gift or a card. gift. It, it says gift card holder. So that's apparently that's what it is. And she's got it, again, in the separate clear bag you know the way I asked her to because I wanted to make sure that your tags are protected until you go to use them and she's got a beautiful bag topper up here with some kind of die cut up here and then she's got a bling right there on the center so let's open this up you guys and see what it looks like without all that glare from the bags and I know the bags have a lot do do reflect a lot of glare but really that's the only way to protect your um, your cards so here is Nisha's gift card holder, and it is in the shape of a tag, and it's uh, in blue, so it's a monochromatic because it's in the blue family. Everything's in blue, just different shades of blue, and only a couple of them, so she did an amazing job on that. And she's got the one tag, and then she's got the stitch pocket, and then it says hello right here. This hello right there is very, it's a very um, fine die cut right here. I don't know how you glued that on Miss Nisha without getting glue everywhere because I tend to do that. And then she's got um, this pocket also has like she die cut inside uh, on the pocket and it's got this beautiful corner filigree work there and then she's added a couple of flowers up here and uh, they're dimensional. There's a couple of layers and she's got a bling on top and then here's her hanging element you guys. Some very uh, thin um, satin ribbon and she's got a couple of them up there and here it is you guys you just pull this out and that's where your gift card goes and you can actually write your message here and insert um, your gift card in here let me see if I have I should have my handy dandy gift card here and we'll see if it works everything's falling off my desk guys you know I always tell you that this fits in here perfectly you guys and it is gonna be a little snug 
But I always tell you guys, that's always better than for it to be loose. And it kind of tilts or something, and then you lose your gift card. After all, like I said, this is money that you're gifting. So here's the gift card holder, and I'm going to show you the back to her gift card holder. This tag also has the stitching around it. And here's the back. See the, the pieces that she cut out from the front pocket? She added them to the back. How cute is that? And she's got her to and from there. And she also... She also uh, decorated her envelope. Here's that scroll work again on the t on the flap of her envelope, and it does have a Velcro that close for the closure, so it won't spill out. And then your card, of course, with your tag or gift card holder would um, sorry would go in here, you guys. And I'm not gonna I don't want to mess it up. There you go. So there it is. It fits perfectly in there, you guys. Here's the back of the envelope. She decorated the whole envelope. Look at this. In the corners and in the closure right here. Thank you, Nisha. You did an amazing job with it. With this. Your attention to detail, uh, it's, it's just stunning. I love the way you pay attention to every little detail. So that's her first gift card holder, you guys. I'm going to set it right here. And then let's move on to her next one. Here's her next one, you guys, the way she packaged this. And uh, she's got that crinkle filler inside, and she's got it in a clear bag again. And then she has this pink topper up here with another vine, uh, uh, leaf vine right here, and the most teeny tiniest butterflies. They are super tiny, you guys, and they are glittered. They're, they're cut out of glittered cardstock. So let's open this up. Let's see if I can leave the crinkle in here. Oh, this is super cute, you guys. Oh, You're going to love it. Let me see if I can pick up this funfetti. So that's a great way, you know, to present something, you know, by adding that shred to it. So this is her beautiful treat box holder, which I'm sure will hold a... Um, a gift card as well I saw somebody did something with this die cut this die I don't have this I think it's by Alta New and I definitely want to get that die because it is so pretty I love the the green that she used here it's like an apple green it's so pretty it's not really a um, I don't want to call it a, a um, mm. The color is just slipping my mind. But this is more like an apple green. And she paired it up with a couple of shades of pink. The light pink. And then actually it looks like three different <laughs> shades of pink. She did an amazing job. Miss Nisha, I just love your work. And then up here she stamped on the... It's the shape of a tag. The stitch tag, you guys. Let me, let me back up a little bit. I don't want to rush because I want to do everybody's swap justice. So I know that this video is going to kind of drag on, but um, I want to give everybody their time that they're owed or that I should pay to their creations because you guys go to a lot of trouble, you know, and if the video is a little long, then it's a little long. Anyway, she put this flower up here and it does have the leaves down here in, in, in two shades of green so you see that the dimension and everything in there and then she's got there's her tiny little butterflies again with the tiniest pearls on there look at how cute that is you guys and then she's got her bow that she made up here with another little pearl and flat back pearl and then it says to the loveliest person I know what a beautiful stamp that is you guys it is absolutely beautiful and she's got another one of her little butterflies right here on the on the ribbon and it's she's got another tag back here you guys look at that look at this she made us some little tags for our boxes and I don't know what die she used but they're tiny but they're this shape right here and she's got her to and from right here and the white uh, complements this green very well and she's got that little tiny butterfly again with the pearl so this is an individual tag but see how she, see what she did here you guys she glued her strings together and to cover it up she put that little butterfly so you don't see the glue or anything or the tips of the ribbon the raw edge and that looks beautiful that's a great idea Nisha so I'm gonna open this up you guys 
and I think she added a little treat for everybody. Can you guys tell I was already doing something this morning? So I'm going to open, look at this little treat box, you guys. How pretty is that? And I love the embossing folder that she used here. It looks like one of those 3D embossing folders, and it's got the roses and the vines and the leaves going all through it. I hope, yep, yeah, the camera's picking it up. Look at how pretty that embossing folder is. Nisha, you got to tell me what folder this is, because I've seen a couple people use it, and, and I want to I wanna get that. So she included for you guys some chocolate you know I keep a jar in my room and they're um, they're in a little clear bag and I actually keep a jar in my craft room if it's not filled with nuts and, and trail mix it'll have chocolates in it so thank you Nisha I'm really gonna enjoy these and then she's got this little look she embossed this uh, envelope with that same embossing folder in white oh I gotta get this in this embossing folder and then she did a little oval die cut and in pink and then she's got a smaller die cut in the oval and with the stitch edge in white again and then she's printed in green or stamped in green I think she printed a gift for you and then she's got another one of those tiny little butterflies and uh, there's the back you guys and there's her butterfly again with the bling this butterfly is a little bit bigger and it closes with uh, Velcro, you guys. So this will actually hold a uh, gift card as well. So you would insert your gift card in here. And uh, let me show you. This is so pretty, Nisha. There it is. It fits perfect, you guys, in here. And you could include it. And not just the gift card. Not just the gift card. But you could include a little goodie, whether it's a chapstick, chocolate. Um, any type of candy, any type of treat can go in this box. So I really love this mm -hmm. this uh, gift card holder, Nisha. Like I said, your work is always impeccable. I love it. I love the attention to detail. Thank you so much for making one for me. And um, I'm going to have to try these. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to try making these. And even your color combination, I absolutely love it. Awesome, you did an amazing job. So the box in itself is the holder for the gift card, you guys. Now after I'm done recording, you know I'm gonna get into those chocolates, right? So that's her second one, you guys. And here is her third one. And again, she's got it in the clear bag. She's got a topper up here with a filigree butterfly and a bling in the center and some uh, scroll work up here, also in die cuts. And here's the back to it. So let's get into it. Let's see what she created here. Like I said, her work is always impeccable. And I think all you ladies have done an amazing job. And um, I know I said it before, but I really appreciate that you made one for me because I didn't get to play. And this way, I feel like I did. And uh, here's her card, you guys. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's on heavy card stock. And she's got this uh, frame, this butterfly frame cut out from the inside. And there's, again, a hello. Very dainty, very fine, the word hello. And in the back right here, this is actually glittered. I don't know if it's picking it up. But the, the back of this is glittered, a white glitter. And then the... the um, the die cut right here with the butterfly, the frame, is just a matte paper. And then again, she brings in that sparkle again with the hello. How pretty is that? Let's flip to the back. And then this says, handmade by Nisha. And then it's got her little butterfly right there and her initials to her, to her uh, YouTube, Inspiring Beautiful Creations. So I, oh, you know what? She did take a class at the expo, I believe to make this card. How pretty is that, you guys? I'll have to hold it like this to give you the angle, a better view. It's so pretty. She's got a little filigree tag over here on this side. I'm just gonna go turn it in each side. So she's got a pretty filigree pocket right here. And then she's got a little tag with the filigree top that says to and from. It's beautiful, Nisha. And then on this other side, she's got it, and it's layered right here in the deeper purple, and then she's got a lavender on top, and she cut out uh, with a die cut, she cut out an, an, a design on here. And then it says, have a wonderful day. Can you guys get a good view of that? It says, have a wonderful day. 
and then the bottom right here so this card is made to sit open like this you guys where you can display it so in here she's got another pocket and she's got the lavender and then she cut out this butterfly corner with a die cut I, I don't know if this is a die or if it's like a, a cameo or a silhouette or some type of file but it's beautiful and sh she shimmered it you guys I don't know if you can see the sparkle but it shimmered like with um not the stickles the the pen what's the name of that pen that everybody uses glitter pens it's um i have one gel pens no mm, i can't remember but it's those pens that we do the the sparkling on the on our projects and then right here is where you would insert the gift card so i'm going to take that out and i'm going to show you if i can find my gift card Right here is where you would insert your gift card, you guys, and it fits perfect in there. I wish I had a prettier gift card, like one for every occasion. That way I would use one that's appropriate instead of these little penguins on everything. Um, but there it is, guys. This is her card, and she did learn to make this at the expo. And when you close it up, it closes up completely, like flat, even though it's a 3D card. How pretty is that? The shimmer pen is what I'm talking about so pretty and then here's her envelope you guys and again this is all purple like in an eggplant color and then she's got another um, layer up here and she's cut that corner out and then she's got her little butterflies her signature butterflies this is your signature Miss Nisha the butterflies and then here's the back side you guys and in her closure she's got another butterfly there and this does have a velcro so you can close it up with a Velcro. And this is very heavyweight cardstock, you guys. It's not flimsy. And you would just slide your card in here. I want to be careful. And it fits perfectly in there, you guys. How super cute is that? Thank you, Miss Nisha, so much for joining the swap for everything that you created for the ladies and for what you created for me. I know you didn't have to and all you ladies didn't have to and you all did and I truly appreciate it. I want to thank everyone for watching and as always you guys the links to all these ladies are going to be in the description below and that way you can go over head on over to their channel and see how they created all of these things and if they don't have a, a tutorial maybe you can ask them if they will if they're willing to do one nine times out of ten they're willing to do it and uh, support their channel so you can continue to, to to see their creations because you know if people don't watch them then we get removed from YouTube so I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to these ladies and watch their videos thanks for watching you guys I want to thank all the ladies who participated in this group not just this group but the whole swap thank you so much everyone have a great day and God bless